What's up, y'all? I'm out here on the range, as you can see back behind me, on this warm, sunny day out here. Really, really nice temperatures. The wind gusts have been picking up lately, a little bit stronger than I expected, but that ain't nothing I can't handle. I'll just weigh some things down, because I've got some interesting stuff left to test out here, and this one right here is another 380 round. So, of course, we got the jelly contraption set up, ready to roll with a couple of chronos and two blocks of gel. Now, I've done one test so far. It was a 9 mil test, but I've got you flipped around, and what these rounds are supposed to do i feel pretty confident we're gonna have plenty of room in this one right here to get it done of course like i mentioned as always i use a heavy clothing barrier here that's got a layer of denim fleece and two layers of cotton t-shirt and what we got here for this one are some fancy 380 rounds that was sent to me by pilgrim ammo pete had them sent out to me directly from pilgrim ammo so what we got here is their 380 torch rounds this is a 50 grain 1500 feet per second solid copper projectile as you can see there, completely nickel plated. Again, it's solid copper. This is very, very similar to the civil defense style rounds. It's made to fragment immediately like a controlled fragmentation, starburst type of pattern. And then you've got the centerpiece that still keeps going out to 12 inches. Now y'all know if y'all have watched my channel for any length of time, I'm really not the biggest fan of this type of round. I prefer something heavier that's gonna go deeper than that. But I know some people out there love these things. So what I can say if it's anything like the civil defense it's going to do exactly what it says so it's saying 12 inches deep as far as the terminal effect with a two and a half inch width so looking at about a two and a half inch spread that we're supposed to see from those fragments now i'm not sure what barrel length they're getting at 1500 feet per second from i've got a couple of different lengths here today we've got the lcp max for a shorty here with a 2.8 inch barrel and then i've got my m p performance center shield ez 380 with a technically 3.8 inch barrel but that's including the little blast chamber poured on the front so even though this design isn't really my cup of tea it should be interesting to see how these do compared to what we've seen from the civil defense in the past so let's get this stuff set up and see what they can do all right let's see how fast this stuff's rolling on out y'all i'm gonna do a five round average from each one starting with this lcp max first now again like i always mention on these videos if you're not familiar with this lab radar you're gonna get multiple readings from it the large numbers from the muzzle here and then five additional across the bottom one of them is set for three yards which is roughly where your gel is here at 10 feet and then i've got a 10 15 25 and 50 set now 1500 is what the box is saying i definitely do not expect to see it out of this max i'll be incredibly surprised uh we may get a little bit of acting up out of this radar with these really really light projectiles but hopefully we don't have much trouble let's see how close we actually get to that 15. 11 15 12 58 12 78 12.08 and 11.26 so quite a bit of inconsistency there it could be this max you know i hate to always pick on this max but i see a lot of inconsistency from this thing now what i can say about this stuff is very light recoil i mean incredibly light recoil when i notice it i can tell you it's light for sure and as far as the report this isn't nearly as loud as like that civil defense or other rounds that i've tested that have this real high velocity but then again this really wasn't all that high velocity so let's see what the average was all right so these numbers are all over the place for sure five round average was 1197 our extreme spread was 164 with a 74.7 uh, standard deviation we had a high of 1278 and a low of 1115 so i don't know what that's all about again i've done other tests i ain't having no problem i just lab radar so is it the ammo is it the lcp max y'all's guess is as good as mine but at any rate let me get it reset and let's try out the ez all right let's try this again with the ez y'all five rounds with this too there ain't no way we're hitting 1500 i'm just telling you right now unless that max is causing some drastic velocity drops for some reason and i don't think that's the case let's see what we get from this one here i mean no recoil y'all 1266 13 13 12 22 uh-oh 
I'm going to tell you right now, that round felt incredibly weak. All these feel incredibly weak, incredibly weak. I know they're supposed to be low recoil, but these things feel like, they feel like 22 short. I mean, I'm not even joking, y'all. That right there is the first malfunction I have ever had from this EZ in uh, thousands of rounds, literally thousands of rounds of light ammo, heavy ammo. That's the first malfunction I have ever had of any kind. So let's just keep on rolling with it. How many was that? I think that was three, right? Yeah, three. 1228. And there it went again, a stovepipe again. I guess that's, that's the kind of a sideways stovepipe. But I'm telling you right now, I've never had a malfunction with this EZ, not one time. Let's get this last one. It spit that one on out. 1,300 it bumped up to there. So really, really light stuff. Let's see what the average was. All right, so the EZ helped it for sure, but not a whole, whole lot. Our five round average that time was 1266. We still had an extreme spread of 91, standard deviation of 40.9. We had a high there of 1313 and a low of 1222. So even the high out of that EZ, which is arguably longer than what most people are gonna carry in a 380 was nowhere close to that 50. So it's 1266 here, and if you remember on that max, it was 1197. So you're only talking about 69 feet per second between these two. Um, at that speed, it's so light that it's probably still gonna do what it's supposed to. I'm gonna tell you right now, if one of these fragmenting type rounds fail out here today, that's gonna be the ultimate fail because I've never seen that happen. But hopefully things don't go that bad. Let me get this stuff reset, and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's is it really a torch or just a spark? sparkler jelly time i'm gonna put one of each round into the gel starting with this uh lcp max first again being that this is so light it still may do what it's supposed to it probably will maybe uh, it might suffer on the penetration though because of that slow speed let's see what happens all right that should have been a good one down there let me go see what i got All right, y'all, wishful thinking right there. That stuff did absolutely terrible. I mean, absolutely horrible. Um, without the speed, I mean, you're just losing every single benefit of that round. I cannot believe the lack of speed from these things. That's really hard to believe. Um, let's see what happens with this one. That thing kind of got where I didn't really want it, but hopefully I can kind of put this one over to the side a little. All right, that went right where I wanted it. Maybe that one did something. Let's go take a look. I didn't even notice till I started walking back to turn the camera off, the thing stove piped again. All right, let's check out what we got down here, y'all. You know the old saying, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Well, if I followed that in this case right here, I, this would be a silent film because this stuff did a terrible job. In my opinion, this stuff did an absolute terrible job. On the bottom here, that was the one from the LCP Max. As you can see, it comes in. I can't tell if it lost any kind of fragments at all. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's in completely intact. I think that's just some shadows and maybe some cloth, but tumbles around somewhere, probably about right in here, looks like it. And it's sitting down here backwards, probably, I don't know, about three quarters of the way, not quite through this block of gel, which is nothing that it was supposed to do. It was supposed to fragment like you see up here and then the rest of it keep on going to 12 inches. So that right there is just pitiful. That's just a lack of speed from this thing without the speed these rounds are absolutely useless because you're losing all the benefit of it and if we jump right up above it here that's the one through the easy this one did a whole lot more of what it was supposed to do as you can see here fragmentation now i don't know if this is designed to have like really clean even fragmentation like the civil defense or some of the other ones but this one definitely doesn't you've got multiple just different size little fragments which again it may be designed to perform like that but we've got 
got some fragmentation there, carries on through this first block, starts to curve a little bit, which we see even with the civil defense, any of these rounds that loses a lot of its material and gets out of balance, it starts to curve. This one just barely stopped from going out the top and looks like it's about an inch, maybe inch and a half further than this one right here. So as far as your penetration, the one down there from the LCP Max is at 11 inches, exactly 11 inches. And then the one up top here from the EZ is at exactly 13 inches. So as far as penetration, yeah, I guess you can say that one's good right there, but it's just lacking so much energy and just did not do what it was supposed to do. And then bringing you in for a closer look here again on the bottom, that's the one from the LCP Max. The top is the EZ. You can see big, big difference. No fragmentation from the Max. Unless those tiny little specks are some, I'll have to look when I pull it, but you can see there, it looks like a fully intact projectile. And then on the other hand, the EZ here, you can see it. Fragmentation there, just really irregular sizes. It keeps on trucking, starts curving up, and then there you can see the projectile. And then if we take a look from the top here, again, you can see fragmentation out of the EZ, the LCP Max, none at all. All right, let's check out these projectiles y'all here. Definitely not what you want to see, especially out of this LCP Max. As you can see here, no fragmentation, none at all. Not one little bit, not any kind of crack, not nothing. It did smash flat, but that's probably because it tumbled. So I think the lack of speed is what got this one right here. It's got some fibers down in the middle, but if it was moving fast enough, that wouldn't have mattered. Now, the one here from the uh, EZ, as you can see, it did what it was supposed to do, but this is nitpicking when I say this right here, but it's not nearly clean as it should be. That doesn't matter as far as performance, but that just shows you right there that even this one here did not perform like it was supposed to. And I think it's just simply a matter of these things moving too slow. I know it sounds a little bit odd saying 1200 plus is just too slow, but this is supposed to be 1500. That's what these things are designed to perform at. And you were just nowhere near it. And if you're not anywhere near the speeds from this type of round, then you're losing all of the additional benefit from it. But let's get some weights on them anyway. They both started at 50. This one here from the LCP Max, no surprise, 50.1 grains, absolutely no loss there. This one here from the EZ, is 40.2 grains, so not quite 10 grains lost from the fragmentation there. And then as far as the size on it, this one here, we'll get a base and then a, we'll get a couple of base measurements. You got 352, 356, and then a length of 471. And then this base here from the uh, EZ, you got 369, 399, and then a thickness there of 246. So there you go, y'all, the Pilgrim Ammunition 380 torch rounds. A total fail from this one right here from the LCP Max and this one right here from the EZ. I personally still call this a fail because you don't have anywhere close to the energy because of the lack of velocity here. So again, without that extreme velocity that you're supposed to have from these lightweight fragmentation type rounds, it's just you're totally missing the whole point of them. So just like with all of these rounds I test, you make up your own mind whether this stuff is for you or not, but I can tell you as far as I'm concerned, it definitely ain't for me. All right, y'all, I'm gonna wrap it up right there for what I think was unfortunately a pretty poor 380 performance. But I'm not gonna keep going on about it anymore. Y'all know I've got the nine mil from them too in this same exact weight. So I'll definitely give it a test and it ain't gonna be today, but I'll test it and maybe it'll do better than this. Hopefully it'll do better than this. But let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the performance from this stuff. Any y'all out there carry any of this Pilgrim ammo? Have you ever seen it out there? Is it in your area locally? Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. About it. If you did enjoy the video, as always, take a second to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything when I upload it. If you're doing some shopping, hit up those affiliate links in the video description. Anything you buy after checking out those links down there, I get a kickback from them toward the channel, so I really appreciate that. As always, a big thanks to all my Range Gang members and every single one of y'all for supporting the channel like y'all do. Big shout out again to Pete for having these sent out to me, even though they weren't really much count in my opinion. I've got one more thing planned for out here today, and it's actually a smaller manufacturer too, so I'm already crossing my fingers. Y'all stay on the lookout for some really good stuff, and in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.